The burglars were quick and brazen, backing a U-Haul van through the front facade of North Reading Motorsports. A half dozen thieves running inside after the glass was shattered. You know, they come in with a vengeance. They knew exactly what they were going after. Video from the inside shows them ignoring a row of bikes that was locked to the ground because this has happened before. But the burglars were able to maneuver five dirt bikes out the front door. Owner Fred Spinazzola sharing this video, hoping right someone the recognizes the thieves. When somebody like these six thugs that broke into my dealership took away my income, took away my payroll for my employees, um, becomes very frustrating. The burglars weren't able to get three of the bikes to start, but got away with two. A North Reading police officer who responded to the alarm chased the U-Haul, but terminated after Spinazzola said it fled at 90 miles an hour. Police say the U-Haul and SUV were both stolen out of Lawrence, and one of the stolen bikes was recovered there. Police also say the same crew cased Cycles 128 in Beverly an hour before the North Reading theft early Saturday morning. Luckily, they didn't steal anything there. After years of previous burglaries across the area and issues with illegal dirt bikes on city streets, dealerships hope police can catch the people behind this. Somebody's going to get hurt. We need to stop this before somebody gets hurt or killed. In a live look back here in North Reading, you can see what was protecting the front facade of this building. It has since broken. The owner here says he plans on installing permanent cement bollards to protect the front of this building. He also says between that structural damage there and to some of the bikes inside, he suffered $100,000 in losses. Well, live here in North Reading, I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5. Peter, thanks.